Forget Dubai glitz, skip the Maldives hype. The hottest Caribbean island isn't just sun and sand, it's a construction zone of mega dreams. Get ready to buckle up as we peel back the blueprints on 10 projects so massive, they'll blow your flip-flops off. From sky-high resorts to futuristic ports, St. Lucia's about to redefine paradise, and we've got the VIP access. Let's dive into the island's future. Number 7. Huonora International Airport Expansion Imagine landing on a runway long enough to welcome the world's biggest jets, stepping into a terminal that whispers luxury, and feeling the thrum of excitement as tourism takes off like never before. That's the vision behind the Huonora International Airport Expansion, a project poised to catapult St. Lucia onto the global tourism stage. This behemoth of a project isn't just about stretching tarmac and glass. It's about extending the runway by a hopping 1,300 feet, allowing behemoths like the Airbus A380 to gracefully touch down. It's about building a brand new terminal, a gleaming testament to St. Lucian hospitality, equipped to handle double the current passenger capacity. Picture spacious check-in halls, duty-free havens brimming with local crafts and arrival areas that exude the island's vibrant charm. But the impact soars beyond just tourist numbers. This expansion is a lifeline for local businesses, from taxi drivers to restaurateurs, waiting to greet a wider world. It's a catalyst for economic growth, injecting millions into the island's veins and creating a ripple effect that touches every corner. The project, spearheaded by the St. Lucia Airport Tea Holdings Management Limited in partnership with the Kuwaiti government, is already underway, with completion expected in 2025. Number 6. Pearl of the Caribbean Nestled in the sun-kissed embrace of Viewfort, a dazzling gem is being polished, the Pearl of the Caribbean. This mixed-use masterpiece isn't just a resort, it's a transformation, a reimagining of an entire town. Picture luxury villas cascading down emerald hills, their infinity pools reflecting the endless blue horizon. Imagine hotels woven into the landscape, whispering tales of colonial elegance amidst swaying palms. But the pearl's brilliance extends beyond luxurious accommodation. A world-class marina beckons yachtsmen, its vibrant quays buzzing with activity. A piazza, alive with the rhythm of local music and the aroma of sizzling spices, becomes the heart of the community. And for those seeking retail therapy, an array of boutiques showcasing St. Lucian artistry beckons. The pearl's significance comes from both its aesthetic appeal and its capacity for transformation. It's about revitalizing Viewfort supporting neighborhood companies, and generating employment. It's about presenting, one brilliant pearl at a time, the natural beauty and cultural mosaic of St. Lucia to the world. Under the direction of the Pearl of the Caribbean Management Company, the project is moving along quickly, with guests already being welcomed in the first phase. The entire idea, however, is expected to cost 2.5 billion US dollars and take 10 years to complete. With the pearl refining its sheen, View Fort gets ready to sparkle like never before. Number 5. Waster Distribution Network Imagine having unrestricted access to pure drinking water from every faucet. That is the ambition underlying this complex endeavor. Like many other Caribbean islands, St. Lucia struggles with a lack of water. There is strain on the available water supplies, and rainfall patterns are erratic. This project takes a two-pronged strategy to directly address the issue. Constructing a cutting-edge desalination facility. With the help of this miracle of contemporary technology, salt water will be transformed into pure, drinkable water, thereby lowering reliance on rainfall and safeguarding valuable freshwater supplies. Modernizing the water distribution system on the island. Water loss from leaky pipes and antiquated infrastructure is substantial. By modernizing the entire system, this project will guarantee that every home and business receives the vital liquid in an efficient manner. Why does it matter? A basic human right is the availability of clean water, and our effort protects St. Lucian's access to it. Better public health, sanitation, and cleanliness are also benefiting of reliable water. It also benefits the booming tourism economy and increases agricultural output. Is it taking place right now? Of course, the desalination plant is currently under construction and should be finished by 2025. The distribution network is being upgraded gradually, but in places where advancements have already been achieved, the benefits are already apparent. Budget and size. This large-scale project is expected to cost over 100 million US dollars, with funding coming from both foreign and government sources. 
With a daily capacity of 10 million gallons, the desalination plant will be able to supply a sizable section of the island's population with water. Number 4. Solar Power Plants Imagine a power plant powered by the heat that exists inside the ground. That is the geothermal energy's charm, and St. Lucia is utilizing it to the fullest with this innovative project. Pockets of superheated steam are hidden beneath the island's verdant jungles, just waiting to be used. That is what the St. Lucia Geothermal Power Plant seeks to accomplish. Drilling deep geothermal wells to draw heat from subterranean steam reservoirs and direct it toward the surface. Heat Conversion to Electricity the geothermal energy will be converted into clean, renewable electricity using advanced turbines, powering residences, and businesses all across the island. Why does it matter? The energy independence of St. Lucia will never be the same after this endeavor. The island is currently highly dependent on imported fossil fuels, which leaves it open to environmental pollution. Geothermal energy offers a clean, sustainable alternative, reducing reliance on fossil fuels and mitigating greenhouse gas emissions. Number 3. Eco-Tourism Paradise Imagine waking up to the sound of the jungle, taking in the crisp mountain air, and walking out onto a spotless beach. That is precisely what the Soufrere Eco Resort promises, fusing opulence with ecological awareness. Tucked away among the verdant hills close to Soufrere, this project aims to Eco-friendly building materials and energy-efficient designs will help to reduce the resort's environmental impact when building sustainable hotels and villas. A revitalizing spa, with locally sourced treatments and breathtaking views of the rainforest, lose yourself in the peace and quiet of nature. And a lake golf course. The golf course will be tucked away in a picturesque setting, perfectly blending in with its surroundings. Why does it matter? This idea encourages eco-aware tourists who value protecting the island's natural beauty by drawing them in. It boosts employment, the regional economy, and St. Lucia's dedication to sustainable development. Number 2. Rose Islet Marina and Resort Rodney Bay, get over here! With the development of the Grose Islet Marina and Resort, Grose Islet, located on the northwest coast of the island, is preparing to become a sailing haven. Imagine a world-class port that is home to sleek boats and is encircled by opulent resorts, fine dining establishments, and duty-free shopping. Why this matters Grose Islet's tourism potential is unlocked by this project, drawing affluent tourists and strengthening the local economy. Imagine more income, more jobs, and a thriving yachting community enhancing the island's appeal with a hint of the sea. Continued or shortly to come to an end, the project is just getting started, with feasibility studies and environmental impact assessments laying the groundwork. However, building is anticipated to start in the upcoming years due to investors' eagerness to get underway. Size and Budget this massive project, which includes the marina, resorts, and auxiliary infrastructure, has a multi-million dollar budget. Anticipate a staged development wherein the marina may be finished first, and then the resorts. Who is in charge of it? To realize this nautical vision, the government of St. Lucia is working with private investors. Number 1. The Hospital Redevelopment Project The Hospital Redevelopment Project is providing much-needed support to St. Lucia's healthcare system. This national project includes building new facilities, modernizing and enlarging current hospitals, and outfitting them with state-of-the-art equipment. Why these matters getting high-quality medical treatment is a basic human right. All St. Lucians will receive better medical care thanks to this effort, regardless of where they live or how much they make. Envision reduced wait times, specialized treatment, and a happy, healthier populace. Continued or shortly to come to an end, with plans for additional facilities in the south of the island and improvements at Victoria Hospital, the project is already underway. Anticipate a phased deployment whereby enhancements are progressively implemented throughout the nation. This national project will cost a lot of money because the government is spending millions to upgrade and develop the healthcare system. Leading the way for a healthier future for the island is the St. Lucia government, working with financial agencies and international healthcare groups. St. Lucia is a game-changer and no longer merely a paradise for beach bums. These massive projects are about sustainability, opportunity, and future-proofing paradise. They're about more than just concrete and cranes. Hey, don't simply believe us when we say this. Now click that end screen to have a video tour of these incredible creations. Get a peek of the future St. Lucia as you see the steel skeletons rise and the designs come to life. Remember to hit the subscribe button as well. 
You can expect further island alteration from us. Travelers, good night.